What is up everyone, thank you for stopping by and checking out another video. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new released Hoem iSteady X. This is going to be a foldable collapsible gimbal, however you want to see it. Basically, if you all uh, remember my review over the Fiutech Vlog Pocket, uh, it's going to be very similar to that uh, in regards to it can fold down and pack up just like that. But getting into it guys, it comes in this pretty uh, awesome unique uh, packed box. It says make the moment and enjoy it right here on the side so that's pretty cool uh, it also has uh, everything that it does and all the features on the back side I'm just gonna run over a few of them right now uh, the weight of this gimbal is gonna be 259 grams it's gonna be a foldable design it has a three axis stabilization uh, moment mode quick roll mode which means it goes from horizontal to vertical uh, it has auto face tracking uh, and everything that's in the box is going to be, of course, your gimbal, a mini tripod, a storage pouch, as well as the power cable and the wrist strap. Uh, it also has the code right here on the back for you to scan it on your phone. That way you can download the app. Okay, so basically whenever you get it out of the box, it's going to look very similar to this right here. Uh, your tripod will just mount on the bottom. Uh, but I'm going to run through a couple of the uh, controls that it has and uh, features that it has. So first things first, it has your joystick, which is a, a great idea for a, a gimbal this size. My Fiutech Vlog Pocket did not have the joystick, and sometimes I found myself missing it, uh, but uh, ultimately I just kind of uh, got used to not having it. So the fact that Hoem includes this is a great feature. Uh, it also includes the battery indicator right above that, as well as the Bluetooth connection indicator. Uh, you have your video and your photo button right here on the bottom left. Uh, and then you also have your roll button uh, right here on your uh, right. Uh, the roll, bu roll button is also going to be used as your power button. So if you long press it, it'll turn on. Uh, on the side right here, uh, you're going to have your uh, zoom in and zoom out button. Uh, so if you push in, you'll zoom in. If you push out, you'll uh, or push down, you'll uh, zoom out. On the other side, you're going to have USB Type-C. So Hoem has uh, taken most of their products now, uh, or their new launches, into USB Type-C. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I, I'm glad we're, uh, we're innovating and moving on with uh, USB-C. Another thing that it's going to have is it's going to have an access lock on each uh, of the three axes. Uh, so on the first one down here, all you do is going to give it a slight turn and that'll unlock it. On the second one, you just uh, make sure you have this loosed right here. Uh, and then up top, you'll just give it a turn and it'll pop open like that. Uh, so fairly easy stuff. All right guys, so whenever you're mounting the phone onto the gimbal, you wanna make sure you have the phone mount to where you can read it. So make sure it's upright. You wanna make sure the uh, camera lens is gonna be on the left-hand side of the gimbal. So once you have all that ready, you're just going to simply mount the camera. Now, in order to balance it on the gimbal, you want to move it left or right if it's leaning. So if it's leaning left, you want to move it to the right. If it's leaning right, vice versa, you want to move it to the left. You also want to make sure after you get through with that, make sure the phone is pushed back on the mount. Okay, so once you open up the Hoem app, the gimbal should detect your phone uh, automatically. If it doesn't, make sure your Bluetooth is on, and if it still doesn't, give your phone a hard reset, and uh, then go ahead and turn your phone on. So once you uh, see that the app has detected your gimbal, you just want to go ahead and hit uh, connect. And again, you have to do this the first time you use this uh, device. You have to go through the step, uh, startup process. And that's going to be basically you have to create an account for your uh, Hoem Pro and your iSteady uh, X. And so after you get everything going, uh, you hit pair and here's where you set up your account. I'm going to go ahead and do mine and uh, I'll meet you right back. And so once you're logged in and everything, like I said, you won't have to do that every single time. Uh, but yeah, it'll say iSteadyX activation success and then you just hit confirm and you're ready to use the gimbal And so just hit record on the top right of your screen or the top left depending if you already have it oriented And let's go ahead and let it access the camera and access the uh, microphone Once that's all said and done your gimbal is ready to use if you want to go uh, through the setup process 
in order to learn the modes, that's where I'm going to show you here. In order to shoot the video, you can hit record on your screen or you can uh, hit the button, the speed button on the bottom. If you single tap it, it'll take a photo. If you double tap it, it'll take a video. If you want to recenter your gimbal, uh, you're going to hit the button on the right twice. If you want to uh, port it in vertical orientation, just hit it once. Vice versa, if you want to hit it in uh, horizontal orientation, you're just going to tap it again and it should switch. You have a uh, flash on the left as well as uh, settings as well as uh, a couple of different settings and uh, modes. You have face tracking right there so if you get in front of it, it should be able to pick you up no problem. Uh, but yeah, let's go up into the settings and you'll uh, see that right here you can change the frame rates as well as the uh, resolution. So that's a big thing for me as a filmmaker is I enjoy being able to change my settings. Uh, Home did a great job with uh, including this in the app, so big thanks on that because there's a lot of gimbal companies out there that don't necessarily include this. You have to either use your set or your basic uh, camera app to uh, change it or you have to go into your settings. So this is a great option. Uh, if you want to be shooting in different frame rates, you can easily select it right here in your settings. I typically shoot in 1080-60 or 1080-30, so I'm going to leave it in that. You have your modes right down here on the bottom. That way you can switch through photo, time lapse, video, as well as a mode called Moment. And basically what it is, it's an exception mode. I'll demonstrate it right here. And so it all, the gimbal will automatically uh, set up. All you have to do is basically move the gimbal either forwards or backwards or through an object or however you want to do it. Get creative with it because this is a killer mode to have on such a small gimbal. Uh, and you can see I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro Max and it does a full turn and doesn't even touch that uh, gimbal bar. So looking back on it, that's what it looks like. So when comparing this to my Fiutech Vlog Pocket, my Fiutech Vlog Pocket does not do that, but the Hoem iSteady X does. And so a great feature that uh, it also has is the uh, zoom in and zoom out feature. So you can create some different uh, videos with that or some different clips with that. It's also a great feature, the fact that is it already works out of the box. You don't have to do any extra pairing or anything like that, like some uh, some tools. So that's, that's a great feature as well. You can also hit this uh, little filter button right here and it'll go through different filters. A couple different ones. I'm going to leave mine on none. So a lot of filmmakers out there want to know if gimbals work well with uh, Filmic Pro simply because Filmic Pro you get a little bit of access to different functions that you just don't get in a lot of different other apps. I'm going to go ahead and set up right here and I'm going to check everything except notifications. And getting into the app you can see that it responds very well. So I would say yes it does work with Filmic Pro. So again, remember the big selling feature on this gimbal is going to be the fact that it can fold up and uh, make for easy compact design. So in order to do it, remember you just unlock all the axis and then give it a slight fold right here and then make sure that bottom axis is locked and then you should have no problems uh, transporting it or uh, putting it inside the gimbal bag or anything like that. Uh, the tripod also screws off, makes for easy compact design. You could almost put this in your pocket, guys, if you really wanted to. I know with everything that's going on in the world right now, uh, everyone's trying to document. And so uh, this right here is actually a good tool for that. It's not too expensive, and it does the job that you want it to do. Uh, and it folds down into a slim, uh, compact design. So if you have any questions about this gimbal, guys, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Ask away. Uh, I'm going to be putting this gimbal through uh, a couple of tests in the next couple days. And uh, then I'll be sharing my thoughts again probably sometime in the near future. Uh, I might even compare it up against the Fiutech uh, Vlog Pocket. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I post videos just like this once a week, guys. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>
Peace on the track.